Hey everyone. Well, I know it's been a couple of weeks since I made a video, but I was on holiday, and I can tell you now, I drank a hell of a lot of beer, and I ate a hell of a lot of ice cream. Like, food on an all-inclusive is not very good for a diet. Not in the slightest. I will say, though, I didn't go in the gym. Um, I didn't go soft sand running. This was generally for the fact that on the first day or so I got burnt to an absolute crisp. Like, I, I'd show you the photo but it's just a little bit inappropriate so I can't really do that. But I, I was red as a freaking lobster and wearing like a bra anyway was the most painful thing in the world and um, I like I would not be able to wear my sports bra because I would just be like crying especially if I ran a little bit of friction would have killed me I did go swimming quite a bit I had a reasonable section of a pool where you could go swimming and I played polo uh, water polo which was a great laugh it was fantastic um, I played football there because they had loads of activities, so it was pretty awesome. So I got to do loads of sport there. And we went for quite a few long walks. And I got some oh so lovely tan lines on my uh, glorious face. If I burgle anyone, they're just going to say a panda did it. But hey ho. And I went shopping today for my... For moving out. I haven't been to the gym since I got home. In fact, all I've done since I've got home is eat Mackies and takeaways and chocolate and everything under the sun, which is not appropriate for me. But I move out on Saturday and I'm going to be starting my new job as a water sports instructor. So generally I'm going to have about eight hours, of, eight hours a day of working like doing physical work and on top of that I'm going to be running around the lake because I'll be living there and it's kind of everything else to go with it my diet is looking pretty awesome because um, when I went shopping I got my bed, got all this, got all that but it was quite difficult because last summer I lived off smiley faces, fish fingers, mashed potato Chinese takeaway, pizza takeaway, KFC, Indian, practically everything but healthy foods. I'm really hoping that doesn't happen this summer because even though I lost weight and got really fit last summer, looking at what I ate, it's kind of... I don't know how to explain it, but it's a bit of a miracle. If I can do that and I'm eating shit, what can I do if I train? What can I succeed? There are people right now almost going, you're not going to the gym, you're not training properly, you're not eating properly. You've not done X, Y, freaking Z. I still have about five months to train. Kind of makes the whole start of this seem a bit insignificant. But I'm going to do it. I know I say that in every video. But every little good day I have is something to treasure. And every little down I have is something to learn from. I did have my whole journal and my ex... What was it? My... Um, my journal and my exercise plan and my food diary and it's just been so hard to keep going with everything that's been going on here but I'm not really sure what I'm going to do in the evenings because it's Milton Keynes not really sure what to do there so I hope that I'm going to try and train a little bit more. I hope I'm going to do everything. And I hope that I'm going to be able to raise some money for my charity that I'm racing for. Well, Tough Mudder is not a race. It's a course. 
um, and I am raising money for Mind, just like to let you guys know again if you could sponsor me, however much it is from a penny to a pound I would really really appreciate it, it would just be fantastic to do such a monumental thing for me, it's monumental and raise some money for such an amazing cause from an amazing charity and just yeah raising awareness of a charity is kind of the best thing to do so if you check out my just giving page it's down in the description box have you noticed I can do that more now sorry um, also check out my facebook page Rach, D Rach does tough mudder and there's loads of videos and links and all the stupid stuff that goes on on there so if you follow that um but yeah i hope everybody that's training right now is doing a lot better than me i hope that your diet's going fantastic your training programs are going fantastic and everything is a little bit better but anyway by the time this next video is up i will have been there for about half a week just nearly a week or so and that's kind of the first few days kind of going to gauge how the next four months are going to go. We'll see. I'll keep you updated. And thank you for all your support and thank you for watching. I'm sure I will see you soon. Tell us half an hour.